Welcome to another Glow Shift Gauges installation video. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. It is imperative that you disconnect the negative side of both batteries before beginning your installation. This ensures the circuit is not complete and no power will be running through your vehicle through the install. Begin by threading the snubber valve into the banjo bolt. Then thread the AN4 to 1 8 NPT male fitting into the female end of the snubber valve. Be sure to use Teflon tape on all your threads for a proper seal. We're going to be installing the sensor remotely to the firewall. This ensures there is minimal vibration to the sensor. Now thread the AN4 to 1 8 NPT female fitting into one end of the sensor relocation kit. The snubber valve, banjo bolt, and sensor relocation kit are not included with the fuel pressure gauge, but can be purchased at GlowShift.com or by clicking the graphic to the right. Locate the fuel filter housing and remove the factory banjo bolt that is located on the underside of the fuel filter housing. Make sure to remove both washers off of the fuel line. Removing this bolt will cause some fuel to leak out, so be sure to use a catch pan. Install the banjo bolt adapter with the other fittings attached to your fuel line. Make sure to install the new crush washers on both sides of the fuel line. It's important not to torque the banjo bolt more than 20 foot-pounds. Connect the sensor relocation kit's line to the AN4 to 1 8 NPT male fitting that is installed to the banjo bolt. Connect the electronic fuel pressure sensor to the AN4 to 1 8 NPT female fitting on the other end of the relocation kit hose and mount it to your truck's frame. Once the hose has been properly mounted, connect the wire harness to the female end of the fuel pressure sensor and run it through your firewall and to your gauge's mounting location. Run three separate lengths of 16 or 18 gauge automotive wire from the engine bay and to your gauge's mounting location. These wires will be connected to your gauge's wire harness and used to power the gauge. You can mount your gauge in a variety of ways, but for this installation, we'll show you how to install GlowShift's single swivel pod to your steering column. To install the swivel pod, carefully remove the trim located under your steering wheel. This will allow you to hide your power and sensor wires for a cleaner look. Slide the gauge's power wire harness through the single swivel pod's wire loom, through the pod and out the back side of it. 
You can also route the pressure sensor wire harness through the pod as well. Place a rubber grommet around the gauge and connect both wire harnesses. Now you can slide the gauge into the pod and install it to your mounting location using the included double-sided foam tape. Route the wire extensions that you ran earlier up and under the steering column. Using butt connectors, connect the red, yellow, and orange wires from the power harness to the wire extensions. Now you can reinstall the trim under your steering wheel and connect the ground wire from the power wire harness to any ground location. For this installation, we bolted it to the dashboard frame. Reconnect the negative side of each battery so you can find the correct power connection for each wire. We're going to power each wire directly from the fuse block using GlowShip's expandable circuit, which can be purchased at GlowShip.com or by clicking the image to the right. Using expandable circuits will make powering your gauges much easier and eliminates the lengthy process of having to cut and splice wires. Connect the orange, yellow, and red wire each to an expandable circuit. Using a multimeter, identify your three power sources located in the fuse block. The orange wire will connect to your headlight switch. The yellow wire will connect to any constant 12 volt source. And the red wire will connect to any switched 12 volt source. Once you have identified the three fuse locations where you'll be installing your expandable circuits, remove the fuses from each location and snap them into each expandable circuit. Now that your gauge is installed and powered, Keep your truck running and make sure your gauge and sensor is reading properly and there are no leaks. Be sure to click the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of our latest videos.